Hello everyone and thank you for joining us here at the beautiful Lighthouse Bookshop in Edinburgh as we get ready to reveal the winner of the 2018 Scottish Teenage Book Prize as voted for by you. Six months ago, we revealed our shortlist of three fantastic books by Scottish authors or authors who made the wise decision to come and live in this wild, salty and ultimately very literary land. Since then, we've been watching hashtag Scott Teen Book Prize to keep up with all the fantastic activities going on in schools across the country. As well as reading the books and discussing them, some of you have created your very own comic book adaptations of the text, as well as some fantastic book trailers. We'll be announcing who's won the very special prizes, courtesy of Waterstones, in the next few days, so keep it tuned to the Scottish Teenage Book Prize homepage. The 2018 Scottish Teenage Book Prize shortlist contained books so different in style and subject matter that it's been impossible to predict which book is going to come out on top. However, our team has counted each and every one of your votes and it's almost time to find out who has won. Don't forget, you can still watch videos of all three shortlisted authors reading from their books and offering some fantastic writing advice at scottishbooktrust.com stbp. But without further ado, the nominees for the 2018 Scottish Teenage Book Prize are Danny Weston's The Haunting of Jessup Rise is a must for all horror fans. It tells the story of William, an orphan who uncovers a chilling secret after being sent to work for his uncle in a mysterious clifftop mansion. As he mentions in his author video, Danny Weston is a big fan of classic ghost stories, and this book is everything a good supernatural thriller should be. Elizabeth Laird has always loved travelling, and her books are often set in far off lands. Welcome to Nowhere, illustrated by Lucy Eldridge, takes us to Syria and follows the story of Omar, whose life and family is uprooted by the Civil War. The book pulls us right into the realities of the conflict, but it's also full of hope and warmth. And the writing is so powerful, Elizabeth Laird's book even inspired pupils at Perth Academy to raise funds to help Syrian refugees. Finally, Caelan Smith's novel Children of Icarus combines fantasy, horror and dystopia in the story of an unnamed narrator fighting her way out of a deadly maze with a cast of horrifying monsters in pursuit. Even though she's still in her early 20s, Caelan has already published five books, and if you're a fan of Children of Icarus, you'll be happy to know that a sequel is coming later in 2018. So, all that remains is to find out this year's winner. The team at Scottish Book Trust have handed me this golden envelope and reliably informed me that the vote was close right up until the last minute. But it is time to find out who's won. So, a drum roll please. Alrighty. The winner of the 2018 Scottish Teenage Book Prize is... Children of Icarus by Caelan Smith. Fantastic. Congratulations, Caelan. Sadly, Caelan can't be with us today here at the brilliant Lighthouse Bookshop in Edinburgh because she is back in her native Canada, having returned there after her studies in Scotland. However, she has recorded this very special thank you message for everyone that took part in the 2018 Scottish Teenage Book Prize. We hope you enjoy it. Hi everyone. I am thrilled and absolutely honoured that Children of Icarus has won the 2018 Scottish Teenage Book Prize. I'm humbled to be among amazing authors Elizabeth Laird and Danny Weston. Unfortunately, I can't be in Scotland just now to celebrate with you guys because I'm in Ottawa, Canada, continuing my studies to become a better writer. I want to thank the readers so much for taking this journey through the labyrinth with me. I also want to thank my amazing editor, Penny West, for believing in the book all along. And of course, thanks so much to the Scottish Book Trust for everything you do for both readers and writers. I really love this award because it's all about the readers. And as a writer, that's so important to me. You're the ones that I'm writing these stories for. So on that note, thanks again, everyone. And uh, have an awesome day. We'll have more stories together soon, I'm sure.